Ukrainian Milk Company is the nation's largest dairy farm, with 7,200 German Holsteins in all, 3,500 cows, milking 1,600 of them. Built in 2006, the $52 million investment came from three private investors. They're feeding their livestock with crops from the 25,000 acres of fertile land it leases. They feed corn silage, dried roasted soybeans, sunflower silage, and a barley wheat mixture. They have a lab on site to sample feed and balance rations, along with a staff of seven veterinarians as well. Their buildings are constructed of steel, aluminum, and cement. Law forbids them from using wood to prevent fire risk. All the manure is used in their biogas system for power generation, which can produce 510 kilowatts per hour. Dairy operations like Ukrainian milk account for 500,000 of the 2.5 million cows in Ukraine. The rest are held by private households, the villagers. Ukrainians drink roughly half the milk or less than what Americans consume, but efforts similar to the Got Milk campaign are underway to hopefully increase the awareness of the nutritional value. Their National Dairy Association, uh, you know, it definitely appears though they're, they're trying to go down the right path but uh, they've got a long ways to go as far as um, having control over the majority of the milk. Right now it appears as though a lot of it is uh, marketed individually to small processors uh, at random. They're trying to pool it and uh, work collectively a little more, but they've got, a, they've got some challenges in getting that done. Another contributor to Ukraine's milk supply is Elita Limited owned by a German family who came to Ukraine. They currently milk 750 Holsteins, with plans to expand to 2,200 in the near future. When that happens, they will move from human to robotic milkers, for though labor is cheap, they can't find enough willing to work long hours and who will pay proper attention to the animals. I was really expecting to see more of the um, small household type farms, which we did see some of those, and I was really surprised by the larger farms, how similar they are to the farms that we have in the United States. Um, with the quality, with the management practices, when they get into talking about the reproduction practices that they're using, that they're using OBSYNC programs, some of the same programs that we're using in the United States I was surprised by. Um, I think it's great to see how far they've come so far and it'll be interesting to see the other changes they have to go through or that they do go through. Elita also has a small swine facility with two to three hundred sows. Along with owning the buildings and equipment, they raise their own feed. Their animals are just a few of the eight million hogs raised in Ukraine, half on enterprises and half on household farms.